Okay. Apparently I have too loud of a voice. I mean, I seriously do. That you can hear my voice from a distance. I don't necessarily like that. I don't want... Okay. And I was reprimanded for it, which was a very, very good thing. <laughs> okay, I realize that my voice carried that far. Okay. Um... So... I only speak the truth about this person that I don't hate. It's just, I hate, absolutely hate, their manipulating lies of being in denial. Yeah, I do hate that. And to continually fight is total hell. I mean, for me to totally fight continually, okay, that's what really happens. You know, friendlies was not very friendly. Not at all. Unfortunately, the few times we went to Park City, I don't even know if we ever won any more than one time. Man, major accident. Good job in, you know, doing what a person's supposed to do. Like, take, you know. Of course, you know, I, I was never, you know, taken care of that much. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah. A person being in complete, total denial and, and saying, you know, no, no, no. I thought, yeah. Each a beautiful, wonderful meal at, at Friendly's. And, and then going back and saying, oh, okay, yeah, all right, well, I offered you a meal. And I, well, if you would have offered us a meal, you would have done it when you ordered. You know, like, I, I, you know, like, really? Do you know what happened? No. You don't know what... You don't know what happened at that fish place either. I, you know, total denial. Like, well, I showed up and you were not outside. And that's your problem. And that's... His really... And I would have to say, evil mom. And then he says, don't talk about his mom that way? Why not? I will, because that's why he treated me like shit. Because I, I'm... I can see through people. And I can, you know, I can tell my husband treated me. Just like his dad treated him. Because I... Listen. Not like the narcissist ever listens. God knows that. But I listen. And I hear how abusive their parents were to them. So then I, it's not too hard to figure out, oh, that's why you're fucking treating me like hell. Picked up all your fucking parents' demons. Or you just... Oh, learned bad behavior. No, I never, ever, 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 ever put anyone through hell. And, oh well, these videos are live. They're all true. And why can't a person, like, face the truth? Oh, I treated the person like a piece of shit. Well, you did. What's wrong with you? I'm a really nice person, you know? And you allowed yourself to be abused. Like, why? Not by me. I mean, one help, one time help is not, you know... A person that you can rely on, you know, ever. Whatever, I, it's just really, really maddening. But, you know, as long as you disappear, <laughs> like the Bible says, what is man's life? James 4.14. You disappear. There you go. So it's all right. You disappear my like my beautiful atheist boys, but I don't think you know they'd put anyone through the hell that you know create you know go out of their way to create hell for another person. You you don't go and you smear campaign 
all your fucking bullshit to all your fucking friends. You, know, you don't do that shit. Make up all these lies. You know, I had the best life in the world. And yeah, you know, like that makes a victim go insane for their insane abuser to go and tell the whole world all the manipulating lies, how good they have it. Oh, so she just likes makes people to feel sorry for her. She just wants attention. She just wants people to feel sorry. I don't know, no one ever did. Well, maybe once, recently. But, uh, you know. Unreal. Unreal. Uh, you know, I never was in denial. I admit everything. You know, when when did I ever lie? You know? It was just unbelievable. And it's really, people are really stupid. That they can't figure out who the real victim is. It's, you know, the victim doesn't have the real abuser is. The victim doesn't have anything, but people can't figure out that, oh, wait a minute now, um, that poor desperate person doesn't have anywhere to go. Maybe they have to put up with that, uh, maybe they have to put up with that situation. Oh, what is the entire situation? What's the truth about the entire situation? What's really going on here? I don't know, but he gives a shit. Because, you know, they don't get involved. So there is no love on this planet, in my opinion. I mean, there's a, just a tiny, tiny bit of love. But, like, it's, it's so non-existent. You know, and that's all I ever experienced. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, right. I, you know, I never had anything, and I hope to have something to pay back <laughs> the person who, uh, you know, can't remember one bad thing that they did, which is just outrageous. Like, what? I don't understand. I know bad. I know everything I say, basically, and it's all boring. Life's boring, and like you know, you don't have anything. You can't do anything. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I just can't stand liars naturally, and you know, you like I know what happened, but I hate delusional deniers, denying delusional insane abusers they're, they're the worst mentally ill people on the planet like oh my god you, you can't work with them there's nothing to work with they just live in their delusion my god you know so whatever and then the world got that much worse. Um, there's this young girl. I don't, is her name Anna? Analysis. Um, she went to high school. She went to college. And she can't believe. I mean she does great videos. And she's a beautiful young. Very intelligent girl. And, yeah, it really got bad today. And, the, like, this summer I was watching some videos, like, people don't even know what they are. They change themselves daily. Oh, well, I'm an alien today. Well, what are, oh, I identify myself as a cat. Oh, I identify, I'm a dog. And really, really, really bad shit, like, out in public, like, um, just displaying really bad mental illness. Um, like, grown men 
down on the ground like a dog, and then having maybe a black woman, like, it doesn't matter if it's a purple alien, it, it, having a, a female figure, whatever, uh, I don't even know, I, I don't remember, because this is that bad, whipping them, like, you know, like, uh, they're on dog collars, and they have leashes, and, you know, it's just awful, um, Uh, for some reason, I remember, um, an individual, it doesn't matter what color they are, though, um, her daughters, obviously, um, had them on dog chains, I think you said three, it, it doesn't matter, it's just too awful to, like, oh my god, you know, like, nobody does anything, out in public, like, <laughs> go down to go to the daughter who has it, and th this was you know years ago. Holy shit, thirty years ago, uh, or more. Oh, I remember that. And then, and I was like, how long ago? Um. So. Why wouldn't, like, a normal human being who actually cares, like, say, you know, uh, oh, because the abusive mom would take her violence out on whoever tries to, to get the daughters away from her. Well, that actually happened to me one time. So I'm, um, 2006, I'm going out of my mind with PTSD, and I'm just like, I just want to die, and this mom is attacking this daughter outside. Oh my god. It's awful. She's screaming at her, and walking up the street, and I just lied, because I didn't have a place to go. I was just thinking of sleeping on my mom's porch because I, I had a fight with uh late theodore carl so it was 2006 like i didn't have a place to go for the year and i got a government check he gives a fuck about me right and i i lied and i said oh i have a place honey do you want to come with me i have a place for you <laughs> What the hell am I going to do? Um, put her on the porch. I hope there's a cover there. <laughs> the mom came out. Attack me. Attack me. And this other mom was beating up a little boy. And, you know, you just can't get involved. Beating them up. And then you might say something, and then they just, the insane abuser is just going, attack you. You can't do anything. That was in Lancaster. And like different places, like a doctor's office. Uh, Kids were out of hand, and I tried to reprimand them, and got screamed at by the mom. So. No, you can't do anything about domestic violence in this world. No, you can't. And, God, you know, the world's just going to get a hell of a lot worse. And, and, you know, I, I really hate all the moms. I hate these really super rich people that have... Like, they're billionaires, so I really do think that they could uh, help out people that will have nothing, you know? I mean, come on, man. I mean, I've been trying to avoid bread, but that's food. Uh, if I had to live on peanut butter and jelly, you know, could I? I just want to live on peanut butter, maybe. Um. It's just so wrong 
um, how fucked up and backwards the world really, really is. And with mace victims, there is nothing that they can do. Nothing at all. Like, what could I ever do? I couldn't even save that poor girl that night. I couldn't. I couldn't save her. Well, you know, what good it is my life when I can't even. Because I'm a victim myself. That's my art. To help. But I can't. Yeah, money is the root of all evil. You know why? Because all the wrong, insane, evil abusers have it. And all of my insane, abusing narcissists had money. Did they help me out? Barely. Barely. And that's the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So, like, you know, like, my life's total hell. I hate all the lies you know, that were told against me. Oh, I know you. I know all about you. I know what you did. I know what you are. <laughs> no, you don't. God, someone who's never, ever been there in my life. Never, ever there for fucking over a decade. Oh, my God. What a fucking lie. You know, if... Why can't someone just admit to their wrong? How hard is that? So what? No one cares anyway. But, oh, God. Narcissists do. No. No. Oh, that never happened. Never. It's insane. Yeah, you can't deal with a narcissist. No, you can't. I mean, not really that real. A far distance. A far distance you can deal with them, but not close now.